सो हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द लेक्चर थ्री ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर कोर्स ऑफ सेमी कंडक्टर्स एंड दिस वुड बी अ वेरी शॉर्ट लेक्चर और अ वेरी शॉर्ट वीडियो वेयर एज यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन इट्स एक्चुअली अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन कंडक्टर्स कंडक्टर्स इंसुलेटर्स एंड सेमी कंडक्टर्स सो एज वी हैड सीन इन आर लास्ट लेक्चर दैट वी हैड डील विद टू पर्टिकुलर टर्म्स दैट इज रेजिस्टिविटी एंड सॉरी लेट मी टेक सम डिफरेंट कलर्स या रेजिस्टिविटी एंड कंडक्टिविटी so and they were uh, actually behaving exactly opposite of each other so why because the, there was a, there was an inverse uh, relation between both of them so the conductivity was inversely proportional to resistivity uh, yeah so this is the resistivity and this so this is the conductivity and this is the resistivity okay na and and what for conductors we also saw, saw for conductors obviously for good conductor i mean for good conductors otherwise you would uh, think about any of the conductors whose conductivity is uh, low whose conductivity might be low okay na but i'm talking only about good conductors okay like aluminum steel iron okay especially of iron uh, so they are good conductors of current heat and electricity okay na i mean electricity and heat so for them the resistivity of course it would be low man of course it could be low okay and since it is low since the resistivity is low see Uh, conductivity is equals to one by resistivity. Okay, since resistivity is low, that's why your conductivity is high, very much high. So for this, the conductivity is high. So this is what we can see over here. Now for insulators, as you can see over in uh, over here, the insulator for insulators, the resistivity is high. Okay, If, let me write over here for our uh, conductors the resistivity. Uh, yeah, the resistivity is low. and for uh, insulators the resistivity is pretty high okay similarly over here the uh, conductivity uh, for the conductivity for the uh, conductors it is pretty high and in case of insulator it is low okay so as you can see over here the exactly opposite relation is observed okay similarly over here opposite relation is observed so i hope you understood this two particular uh, technical terms okay so yeah we had also done with this particular part now talking about semiconductors uh, so there isn't any specific range or value it solely depends on the application part okay so as of now you can just think or you can just imagine that the value or basically the resistivity and conductivity lies somewhere in between both of them so it might lie somewhere between both of them okay na that means here somewhere over here the semiconductor might exist okay so it is not a pure insulator and it is not pure conductor as well so this is what uh, it means so i hope you understood this particular concept of semiconductor and uh, insulator and conductor so this was a basic difference between semiconductors this was a basic difference between hmm, semiconductors insulators and and the conductor so i hope you understood this particular uh, concept uh, thank you for listening patiently and in next lecture we are going to start with exact core of semiconductors okay how a semiconductor uh, will work or what is logic or idea behind the working of the semiconductor okay so that we had uh, that we are going to learn but for that again a prerequisite is conductor and with conductor you should at least at least have basic idea of physical chemistry okay like the atoms or uh, the structure of atoms 2s 3p and all those things at least have a basic idea if not at least have a basic idea of that then the things would be very much easier and clearer to you okay so with this intensity we'll learn some new concept and next lecture okay thanks for listening patiently and i'm uh, ending this video over here thank you